Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a book review on a book called Dearest Enemy. So this book was about this girl and she had this boyfriend called Ian and he cheated on her. So, and there was this new guy who she really liked and um, he was living next door but he didn't really like her. Like, whenever she said hi, he was like, like, really, like, acting really weird around her and she always wondered why and in the middle of the story you found out that like the reason that he was like acting so weird was because like um he had a girlfriend and she cheated on him and that's why he like moved in with his mom um and he was like um oh she looked like exactly like you so like it's kind of hard for me to like act around you because um like this stuff happens and you make me like you like remind me of her a lot and during the story you just like t you just like find out more about them and how they got together in the end or like what happened in the end or like why they like started liking liking each other and stuff so that was what the story was about and i would probably rate it a seven because i really really liked it but like i read um a book from the same author before and it was like all right but like mm, i don't know i some of the parts i didn't really enjoy because um like some of the parts in the story um like it just got kind of like confusing because like one chapter is about this and then like next she's at home or like she's at school and it doesn't really talk about like her family and stuff so yeah so that is what the story was about and I rated it so now I'm gonna read. Five in the morning is way too early especially getting wet. Yawning and grouchy. I get out of I get out of the shower when I hear someone in my room. My mum was supposed to have left for the airport by now. She's a slowpoke and going to miss her flight. Mum, I quickly wrap my towel around myself and hurry out of the bathroom to speed her along. But then I freeze in my bedroom doorway. Because it wasn't my mum in my room. It was my ex-boyfriend, Ian, the cheating slime ball. His eyes immediately got lost in a, in boy la la land and he sees me when he sees me in the towel. But his eyes go into a little narrowed slit seeing him in my room going through my drawers. I look when he... I know what he's looking for and he can't have it. Only the cheating slime ball already has it in his cheating slimy hands. You can't just you can't just break into my house and steal things, I inform him. Beyond mad. I mean the dude is beyond nervy, cheating on me and breaking into my house while I'm in it. I grin my teeth, pull my shirt back and get it and get out of my house or I'm calling the police. He smirks. Good, call the police. Tell them I'm stealing the shirt you stole from me. I growl. You know I love that shirt. He raises his eyebrows. You know I love you. I guess. I guess knowing stuff, I didn't mean much. Instead, August, I roll my eyes but refuse to get into a conversation about him. So-called love for me. He cheated on me. I grinned out. So that was just the start of the story when her, boy, her old boyfriend who cheated on her came into the house and got her t-shirt because... 
like um, he just wanted it back and the story gets even better and better because new characters come in and like drama happens so that's why I really enjoyed this book and I hope you guys enjoyed this book review and stay tuned for next week's bye